Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're taking a look at the new Cloud Background Landscape Hot Foil Plate as well as the Foiled Sentiments Sending Rainbows Hot Foil Plate. So let's get started and see how these products work. First we'll go over the basics of foiling. You want to turn your glimmer system on and once it's ready and that platform is ready, light is lit, you will hit that timer button with your plate on the surface. And once that timer button stops blinking, you can add your foil with the pretty side facing towards the plate. Then you can add your cardstock. And then finally, you will add the plates that come with the glimmer foil system on top. Then you can pull this off of the base and run it through your die cut machine. Once you've run it through, pull off those plates and pull up your paper. Then you can remove the foil and we have these beautifully foiled clouds in our background. How pretty is that? To create the sentiment with the hot foil plate, we're going to do the same thing. Once our timer light stops blinking, we know that our plate is nice and hot. We can add our beautiful rainbow foil with the pretty side facing the plate. We're going to add a piece of cardstock. Then we will add the two glimmer top plates, pull that out of the base and run it through our die cut machine. And now we have a beautifully rainbow foil sentiment. When you pull off that rainbow foil, I think this is the best part the reveal of that beautiful foiled sentiment. Now this beautiful foiled sentiment fits perfectly inside a three inch circle. So we can take our three inch stitch circle, line the sentiment up in the center, and now we have this beautiful sentiment ready for a card. So let's make some projects using these new hot foil plates. On this card using the cloud background landscape hot foil, I will be using some prism foil and then I am going to pull out my Rainbow Ever After Petite Paper Pack and use this beautiful ombre pattern paper for my sky that I'm creating. While my plate is on my glimmer machine and it's getting warmed up, I'll trim my foil down to be the width of my paper. Once my platform is all ready, I've pushed that timer and my button has become solid green. I've just pulled it over here to my desktop so you can see me layer the pieces together. So you want to put the foil with the pretty side facing the foil plate. Then I'm just trimming my piece of pattern paper down a little bit so it will fit on this platform a little bit better. And I'm shifting my foil over so that I know where the edge of the plate is and I can line up the edge of my paper. And then I will put the two plates that come with the glimmer foiling system on top. And I will run this through my Platinum 6 die cut machine. Once I've run that through, I will remove those plates and my foil is now pressed into my pattern paper. And then I can get the corner of that and peel it away and I have these beautifully foiled clouds on that beautiful ombre paper. And I just think that this looks so pretty. Now I need to trim this down to fit my card base. So I'll be using the largest stitch rectangle stackable. So this will be five and a half wide by four and a quarter tall. And I also get that beautiful stitching detail around all four sides. I will do the same with a piece of pesto spiffy speckles paper so I have some green for my grassy hills and ground that I want to put at the bottom and this gives them that nice stitching detail as well. Now I'm using stamps from Cared About You, that line of tulips, and a couple of the little mice from Veggie Happy and I've already colored and cut out my images. I want to put a line of tulips all the way across the bottom like a field of tulips but before I cut the bottom of this piece of green paper, I am going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment using the Henry's Build a Sentiment Spring. So I'm stamping a sentiment that says, sending sunshine your way. And I've just placed all of those stamps lined up on this block. I'll stamp this towards the bottom. And this way I can check and make sure that I trim my piece of paper down to be the right width. So I'm going to put my little flowers here as a guide and then I'm putting a little tick mark about where I think it should get cut. I'm actually going to measure it as well and it ends up being three quarters of an inch. So I can just take this to my trimmer 
line that up at three quarters of an inch and I'm going to trim a straight line across. So this will be the bottom where my little tulips go. And I'm going to go ahead and add those tulips to the back side of this little strip of paper so that I will have this as a guide for the hillside that I want to layer behind it. So what I did was I marked the center so I know where the center of this little strip is and then I'm starting from there and I'm adding my little tulips to the back side just with some little dots of glue on the bottom of their stems. And I colored all of these little groupings of tulips exactly the same so I knew when I lined them up I would get a continuous rainbow of flowers across the bottom of my card. Now I want to cut a stitched hillside and this is why I wanted to go ahead and put the tulips. I want that hillside to kind of go down and hide behind the tulips on the right side. So once I have that lined up, I can run it through my die cut machine and I have that other stitched hillside. And now I can start to assemble my card. So I'll start by putting some adhesive all over the back of this piece that I foiled and add that to a card base. Then for that rolling hillside in the background, I will just adhere that directly to my background piece. For the piece in the front with the tulips, I want to pop that up and give it some dimension because I'm going to tuck this little sign behind those flowers. So I've just put a foam strip across the back of the green paper and some strips across the back of the tulips. And then I will just line that up with the bottom of the card. Now the other line of tulips, my two little mice, they're going to be up here on the hill. I am going to give them a little bit of dimension with some thinner foam squares so they are popped up a little bit but not as much as the tulips in the foreground. And I like that these two little mice are tending the tulip garden up on the hill and then we have the field of tulips below. Now to add my little sign, I just added some foam squares to that as well. This is regular thickness foam squares, so it's popped up like the tulips in the front, and I'm just going to tuck the very end of it behind one of those flowers. Now I wasn't sure what I wanted on the sign, and so I decided on a heart, and I tried a couple different colors, but I ended up with just a white glitter heart. And then I took my sunshine from the Spring Showers die set and cut that from some sticky note cardstock, which is that lighter yellow. And now I'm taking a Copic marker and I'm just pulling some ink from the center up the rays. And then I'm going to trace around that center part right on the outside of the stitching line detail. And this just added some nice dimension and shading to the sun without having to get out any ink pads. And I had much more control over it as well. But I felt that this little sun needed a face, especially to go with that sentiment that says sending sunshine your way. So I'm using the reveal wheel circle sentiment set because there is a little smiley face in here as well as the little cheek stamp. But I'm sure that there are other sets in your stash with smiley faces that will work on this cute sun. I'm adding a foam square to the back of him so he's popped up and then I took two of those small clouds also from the spring showers die set and I'm just tucking them in behind those sun rays and I just think that this looks really cute especially layered over those foil clouds in the background. I also added a few little hearts out of guava card stock. These were cut with the hearts and stars with skinny tag die, so I have three sizes of hearts. And then I will add some glitter sparkle to the hearts as well as to the sun rays. And for the sun rays, I'm just starting in the center and kind of just pulling that glitter out towards the end and kind of letting it die off before I hit the end of the ray. And this matches that little heart on our sign. And then here is my finished card. And I love that background with those foiled clouds and that ombre. It's like a sunset. It's so pretty. And I just think that little sun with a smile is so cute. Next up, I'll be creating a card with the Sending Rainbows Hot Foiled Sentiment. And here are my dies that I will be using to create my card. I was just stacking them together to make sure I liked the way they look. Now I want to do something a little different on this. I want to try foiling with two different colored foils. I think it would be cool to have the word rainbows with rainbow and the other words with that pretty blue. I'm looking at this on my grid mat. I see that a half inch strip will cover that word rainbows and I'm going to use my paper trimmer to trim my foil. Now the trick to this is to put your blade somewhere in the center 
and then trim it from there. You don't want to trim it from the end. It will just kind of crunch up the foil. But this little strip will fit perfectly over that word rainbows. Then what I'm going to do is cut two strips of that moonstone, really pretty iridescent blue. One will go above that rainbow strip and one will go below. And right now I'm just checking to make sure everything gets covered up with the foil. So I've put my die onto my platform. I've got it all nice and hot. It's ready to go. And I've pulled it off and brought it to my desktop. And I'm laying the rainbow strip down first, making sure it covers the word rainbows. Then I'll lay the other two down, all of these with the pretty side facing the hot foil plate. Then I'm going to put a piece of paper so I don't over foil onto my plate. Put those two plates on, run it through my die cut machine, and then I can pull the foil away and look at that beautiful rainbow sentiment. I love that this worked out and the word rainbows is a different color of foil. I just think that is so much fun. I will put my three inch stitch circle on there and run that through my die cut machine. So now I have this beautiful foiled sentiment in that stitch circle. I'm going to be using the gummy bears paper for my background, but I wanted to put a scalloped circle frame around the sentiment and I was trying to decide what was best to use and I settled on this holographic cardstock because that holographic cardstock has that little bit of rainbow when the light hits it. For the scallop square in the background, I'm using a piece of the gummy bears paper and I'm just shifting my die around to find the perfect placement for this so that I get all the colors of that paper in my scallop square. I'm going to put all of this onto a five by five white card base, but I decided that this was too big of a border. So I'm going to trim this down to four and three quarters square. And that's just going to give me a smaller white border around my scallop square. So I'm just adding some adhesive all over the back of that stitch scallop square and I will line that up in the center. And now you can see I have that thinner white border around all four sides. And then I can add my sentiment to that holographic scallop circle and I'm just making sure I have a lot of adhesive on the back since I am gluing this to a slick surface. I'm using my grid mat to make sure my scallops are lined up and make sure my sentiment is nice and straight. And then this will go right in the center of that beautiful rainbow plaid. I decided I wanted to add a little bit of embellishment before I put this sentiment on there. So I've pulled out some lawn trimmings twine and I just wrapped it around the card once and I will just tie a bow on that left side. I'm just checking to make sure I've got it tied over far enough to where it peeks out from behind my sentiment circle. I'll just make sure that's nice and tight and even, and then I'll trim off the excess tails. Now to put my sentiment on there, I wanted to pop it up, but I kind of want to avoid that string that runs through the middle. And here's a little trick I like to do. I like to lay it on there face down so I can see where the things are I want to avoid. And I can add my strips of foam tape. And you can see that I'm avoiding the center where my little twine is going to go. Then I can pull off that liner paper and just pop this beautiful foiled sentiment right in the center. And this was a really easy card to make because all we had to do was do that beautiful foiling and have that beautiful rainbow paper behind it. So this is that finished card. I do think it's really fun to try that method of using some different foils. I think it turned out really great and I love that holographic frame. Now let's take a look at some beautiful projects by the design team. I really love this card by Audrey. She used both of those foil plates and I love how she traced around the word rainbows. Grace created this beautiful card using the hot foil clouds in the background behind that giant sending love. And then Megan's card is so pretty with that bright rainbow background and I love the clouds at the bottom. Mindy created this really cute scene using Kangarific and I love those clouds in the background. And then Elisa's card is so pretty. I love her stenciled clouds and that foiled sentiment over that with the little unicorns is just adorable. And this card by Kelly is sweet and simple. I love that foiled sentiment paired with the new Rainbow Ever After paper. Those rainbow stripes are just so pretty. 
And here is another look at the two cards that I made today in the video. This beautiful scene with those beautiful clouds on that ombre background and then this really fun and bright rainbow sentiment card. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.